Since 1948, the Jimmy Fund has supported Dana-Farber Cancer Institute's goal of providing care and cancer research for children and adults. The Jimmy Fund has raised millions of dollars with community fundraising events, such as the Jimmy Fund Walk. The annual walk took place on Sunday, October 2nd, following the route of the Boston Marathon. Participants could join fundraising teams and could choose to walk a 5K all the way up to the full 26.2 miles. A Needham family had a very personal reason for joining the walk and raising money to support Dana Farber. Here's Catherine Brody with more. The Willis family has been participating in the Jimmy Fund Walk for almost a decade. A few years prior to 2022, a family member's cancer diagnosis deepened their involvement as they began walking in support of the Stella Hope Fund. Our granddaughter, Stella Hope Friedman, was diagnosed at a few months old. It's a very hard experience to go through, especially when a baby is sick. Stella had a rare blood disorder called multi-system Langerhans cell histiocytosis and spent the next two years undergoing chemo and steroid treatment with Dana-Farber, emerging triumphant against the disease. She is now a healthy six-year-old, but the experience inspired the Freedmans to commit to helping find a cure. So the Stella Hope Fund was founded to commit not less than $2 million of fundraising to support scientists at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. While the Freedmans raised funds with the Panmas Challenge, the Willis family was quick to join in, raising funds with their Jimmy Fund walk team, known as Blistering Pace. Uh, this year, I think, is the third year that our fundraising efforts will go directly to the Stella Hope Fund. We found it to be you know, an outdoor, exciting activity that we can all do together. Blistering pace set out from Hopkinton around 6.30 a.m., while other team members joined at half marathon and 5K distances. And for the Willises, it's a family affair with all hands on deck. It's a really fun event and a day that we look forward to. I also now run the social media for the Stella Hope Fund. We're at mile 20. How's everyone feeling? Great. We're doing awesome. Great fun. I was very impress us with how effective of an event it is and how much money it raises and really just how many people go out there to support everyone. We're at mile 23-ish. Daniel is here now. Hi. How you doing, Daddy? Hanging in there. <laughs> you know, it's heartbreaking to read these stories, but it, it motivates us to keep going and to keep walking and to remember like why we're doing this. This year, the team raised over 13000 for the Stella Hope Fund, topping 800000 raised since its inception. You know, when you are, could be any family member is, is impacted in this way, it really hits home. And so here we all are, as a family, doing something about it. We reached the finish line! Not everybody in the family is in a position to, to join the walk or to do the ride, but they all are very supportive. They all donate. Everybody's been a part of it. Yeah, yeah, it's great. People can continue to donate through October 31st and find more information at StellaHopeFund.com. For Needham Channel News, I'm Catherine Brody.